The parents of Ethan Crumbly, the teenager who in 2021 opened, or opened fire at his high school, are going on trial for manslaughter in a case that will test the limits of liability for mass shootings. While the shooter was the one who entered the high school and pulled the trigger, there are other individuals who contributed to this, to the events on November 30th, and it's my intention to hold them accountable as well. It's imperative we prevent this from happening again. James and Jennifer Crumbly have pleaded not guilty to four charges of involuntary manslaughter for their alleged roles in their son's rampage, which left four students dead and seven others wounded. Or seven others wounded. If convicted, they face up to 15 years in prison. Prosecutors allege a gunman's parents are also responsible for the students' deaths for multiple negligences, including disregarding the risks when they bought a gun for their son and failing to identify signs of their son's unstable mental health and signs of violence. They also say the parents did not mention the gun to school officials in a meeting to discuss Ethan's disturbing drawings just hours before the fatal shooting. Meeting At the meeting, James and Jennifer Crumbly were shown the drawing and were advised that they were required to get the sh their son into counseling within 48 hours. Both James and Jennifer Crumbly failed to ask their son if he had his gun with him or where his gun was located and failed to inspect his backpack for the presence of the gun which he had with him. The parents' defense attorneys have argued the charges have no legal justification, but appeals courts have upheld them. The evidence and arguments may also differ for each parent. Jennifer and James Crumbly had been working toward a joint defense, but their cases were separated after Jennifer Crumbly placed blame on her husband in the shooting. Ethan Crumbly's teacher came upon a note on Ethan's desk, which alarmed her to the point that she took a picture of it on her cell phone. The note contained the following. A drawing of a semi-automatic handgun pointing at the words, quote, the thoughts won't stop, help me, end quote. In another section of the note was a drawing of a bullet with the following words above that bullet, quote, blood everywhere, 